told he might never walk or talk, but this footy fan defied the odds to run out with his beloved West Tigers, becoming a voice for change. He's also being seen differently after joining a program, seeing players help tackle bullying in schools. It's showtime for West Tigers newest recruit. Marco Quintayo has become a fixture of the Concord Club in the sheds at training and leading them onto the field each week. To see him running at the team is like me seeing Marco transforming into the person he's supposed to become. In just 12 months, he's gone from a painfully shy boy to a self-assured young man, even giving players pointers. Don't drop the ball, work hard. His confidence has just gone up a level since, they, since he's been involved with the West Tigers. From day one, Marco's life has been tougher than most. When Marco was first born, doctors did explain that Marco would never walk or talk. But nothing was more challenging or heartbreaking than school because he wasn't included at lunchtime. And he would come home and cry because he wanted to just play football with the boys. Everything changed when mum Celine reached out to the West Tigers for help and signed on to the club's Varying Abilities Program, an anti-bullying campaign which sees players go into schools and teach children to be more inclusive. It is important when we play, we include everyone. We're trying to break down the sort of stigma around sort of or that notion of being disabled, you know, change that terminology straight away. If we can just sort of have to focus on everyone in the building, just on varying levels. When other students saw Marco was in with the likes of Josh Reynolds, their attitude towards him changed. And from that day on, Marco was included in all lunchtime football. We just involve everyone and, it, and it's, I think that's what it's all about, you know, because Hopefully it's creating that, you know, it's everyone's the same. The program has only been running the past 12 months, but it's already caught the eye of the federal government as something it needs to invest in. And in the last budget, they committed $300,000 to the cause. That funding will help educate 20,000 students across the state to open a spot for kids like Marco on their team. After all, he's the one learning from the pros. Benji Brooks. Moses and Dashon. All the boys. <laughs> and Marco. And Marco. <laughs> Sophie Walsh, nine years. Go, Marco.